Welcome back to my channel guys. Now a few weeks ago I was actually meant to vlog when I was doing a little bit of shopping with James. Unfortunately the video decided that it wanted to delete itself so yeah that's that. I am however going to be doing a haul so yeah hopefully you enjoy. So I'm going to dive straight in because there is about yeah there's a lot of products that I want to show you. So the first of which I got are uh, these lovely new shoes. Now if you read my vlog You'll have noticed that I did an outfit post, uh, I want to say, last week? No, 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 a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'll leave it in the description bar below, which these are featured in. Now, these were an absolute nightmare to break in, because they're basically, well, not basically, they are real leather. I did actually get them at an amazing price, so there's always that. I think they were £40, which for real leather isn't that bad, actually. Well, I don't think it's that bad for boots as well, so, yeah. I'm just going to put these down on the floor, because otherwise they're going to be in my way. Right, uh, what's next, 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 is this. Now, I've been wanting one of these for ages and ages, but I've never been able to really justify it, because the internet in this room has always been a bit, a bit crap, for lack of a better word. But the internet's actually been boosted quite a lot, and yeah, it's sort of more or less fixed. So I thought, got a bit of cash on me, I might as well as finally invest in one because I have been wanting one for a long while and it's this and it's an Apple TV now I can't actually show you because it's actually plugged into my um well it's plugged into my TV you know being an Apple TV for those of you that don't know where it is it's basically a small square uh, set top box that basically connects to the internet you can also stream from your phone um, you can have a marine on which means anything that's on your phone is now on the TV which is quite useful actually, especially for me being, well, blind to the back because it basically puts it in a million times zoom, so yeah, that's that. What have I next? Um, oh yeah, I nipped into the Disney store and when in the Disney store, Luke has to buy a cup. Now, for those of you that have been here for a while, you'll know that I already have a cup that's more or less the same as this, which is my Grumpy cup. It's basically Grumpy from the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And James very kindly found me this on one of the bottom shelves hidden right at the back, which is this. And it's the dopey that goes along with the grumpy. What people aren't aware of is that I'm slowly going to now collect the set. So, yeah, if anyone can tell me where else I can get the others from, highly appreciated. So, yeah, that's that. What's next? Oh, yeah, when he leaves, Luke has to go to Wittart. So, I got three packets of tea. Now, I'm just going to show you all of them because I don't know which one's which, which are, there's three there. One is a milk oolong loose leaf tea, which is very strange. It tastes like biscuits. If you've got a sweet tooth, I highly recommend that you buy that. The next I got is the Piccadilly, which has a slight smell of blackcurrants without actually having blackcurrants in it, and slight smell of licorice without actually having licorice in it. Yeah. It's very nice, it's very fruity like, yet florally, sorry. And the third and last one is a mango and bermagot. Now this is very, basically it's exotic, it's, yeah, it's, it's to die for. It's very florally fruity but more fruity than floral, does that make sense? So yeah, that's the three teas that I bought from Wittars. As anyone will know, I love Wittars, so yeah, if you haven't checked out them, please do. Um, where did I go next? I nipped into my local candle shop. Unfortunately, not Love Aroma because I was. This was bought on a separate occasion, basically. And as you will have seen in last week's video, I very got kindly sent a big box of wax tart Yankee candle melts from Love Aroma. Uh, sorry, from Love Aroma to review, which I am going to be reviewing once I've burnt up a few more of them. And I burnt one and absolutely fell in love with it. Everyone in my house absolutely loves it and had to run out and buy it in the big, you know, the, the large jar. And it's this. And this is actually from their new range, I believe. They're doing sort of like a healthier, fresher, you know, that sort of vibe to it. And it's the, no, Aloe Fresh Water, I believe it's called. Basically, it's aloe vera, but it's very muted. We, I think it's got a whole load of other essential oils in there, but it's... I'll smell it for you. Oh, I have actually just burnt this, so... 
the room just sort of slightly sporadic. It's very... How can I describe it? Obviously florally but fresh, but it's very sweet, but not too sweet that you'll get on your nerves, and it's very... It's just a nice spring scent, is the best way I can describe it. Oh, sorry for that. Then where did I pop? Oh, I popped into Lush because I've been wanting to get one of these and I had, well, a bit of time to spare so I thought I'd check it out and, yeah, long story short, I actually bought it and it's this. Now, I'm not 100% sure what this is called, I believe it's called the Sea Breeze Water. I'll leave everything linked below and, yeah, basically it's a facial toning spray and it's got seaweed extract, I believe it's got some sort of lavender and neroli in there because that's what it smells of. I'll just add this right on my face because I've got other stuff on my face. Ugh. If anyone has ever smelt the, um, what's it called? I think it's called the Ocean, Ocean Salt Scrub. It smells a lot like that mixed with the Ocean What's the other one? The seaweed mask. I think it's called like Ocean Spray or Ocean What. It's, it's got Ocean in the title. I'll leave it in the description bar so you can check it out. Um, then I went a little bit crazy and bought a load of shower gels. All original sauce because they were all basically a pound and they're all new scents. I thought, why not? I'm not going to get all three because, yeah. Um, but that's what they look like. And I got the scent in. I got one in. Um, chocolate and vanilla, one in vanilla and raspberry and what's the other one in? Um, the other is in, oh, what's the other in? Um, it's another chocolate one, I will leave them all linked down below but it's basically they're three new scents and it's, I'll smell this one for you, what's this one? This is the vanilla and raspberry. Oh, it's so nice. It's creamy yet, not creamy, but, you know. Yes, I bought three of them. I'll show you all three, actually. There's that one, that one, and then, last but not least, that one. I did say I went a bit mad, but they're only a quid, so you can't really go wrong, can you? I then bought another um, shower gel, mainly because I want to review this one for the blog, and I'm a big, massive fan of the Aussie hair care range. And it turns out they now do shower gels. So yeah, I bought this one. Now I'm not 100% sure what this one is in. But this one basically smells... This is going to sound really strange. But it smells like a mix of the Parma Violet, Su sorry, Parma Violet Sweets. And if anyone else can remember this, the Anglo Bubblegum. That used to be on like the Penny Sweet shells. Anyone else remember them or am I completely going cuckoo? Please let me know. Um, yep, and then I went a bit OTT on the masks. I bought three of them super drug and basically they've come in little sachets of these. Now the first one I got is a chocolate orange heat mask. The second I got is a fruit smoothie exfoliating mask and then the other is in a tropical fruit mask. I've actually already used the um, the chocolate orange one. Quite nice, actually. I'm going to be doing a review when I've got pictures and stuff for that. So, yeah, look out for that on the vlog. And then the other two masks, which are the last and final things, are these. I'll hold them both up at the same time. One is the, um, the Simple Purifying Mask, which is obviously by the brand Simple. Um, and then this one is by an unknown brand to me, which is called Nip Fat. And basically the reason I bought this is because it's got glycolic acid in and I wanted to see whether or not, you know, a more or less not natural but not got that many bad things in it for your mask would sort of, what's the word, whether or not a glycolic one would be the other one. Do you know what I mean? Basically a, a vice versa versus whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's everything that I bought on my little shopping, whatever you want to call it. I am actually going through like a no spend two month for March and April so there'll be no hauls or no new things unfortunately but it is because um, it's going towards uh, an event that we, well that I'm going to in August so yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that wraps up everything I've got to show you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, have you bought anything new? I'd really love to know what you've bought, just because I'm a, you know, nosy like that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out all the social links and blog links and product links in the description bar. And I will see you again next time for another video.